radio show, radio studio. What the fuck am I saying? I'm just looking at you like, were you ready to talk? Yeah, no, I'm, I don't talk unless I'm told to talk. Welcome back. You, you may speak now, Samantha Stanley. <laughs> Welcome you. back to the Rocket Radio Show broadcast, ladies and gentlemen. One of the most detested and unlikable radio talk show programs on the internet. Right, Sam? Speak for yourself. Well, I just got some news, Sam. As you're aware, Ooh, our subscribers tell. are similar to a tornado. <laughs> right? The longer we go, the less there are. They fly <laughs> off. Fly off, Sam! But we got, are we down to like three now? Or? Now, speaking of tornadoes, what about those hurricanes, Sam? Oh, it's horrible. The wind is really blowing! <laughs> The hurricane's really I like how they got those old broads that are interviewing them from Florida. <laughs> I'm not leaving. I am not leaving here. Some old Jewish broad, right? Yeah, I'm not leaving here. I've been here for 36 years. Just, you know, down here. This is my home. Yeah, I'm These like, are my friends. Uh, there's going to be a tidal surge of like, of like 18 feet. Well, it's like, God's will. Yeah, God's will. <laughs> It was God's will in his benevolence as he floated around the universe concerned about me. Um, just put it in the Lord's hands. We ain't God's chosen people now. <laughs> There's not a lot of goys left. If you haven't heard, there's a white genocide. Fight, don't fight, What do you think? You think they're, you think they're a government sponsor? Government sponsored them. No. 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 I think they're totally natural. Yes. They just happen to wipe yes. out Houston's yes. gasoline production capability. The gasoline <laughs> no. cracker, as they call it. It's a catalyst. It's a I catalyst think... cracker to crack those heavy. Yes, I think it happened naturally. Yes, you have. You, yes. Can you <laughs> say that one word? Yes, I think it happened naturally. <laughs> happened naturally. <It's>... Cutting broccoli. <laughs> happened naturally. <laughs> I haven't heard that shop of broccoli thing. Obnoxious binoculus. So, uh, anyway, yeah, hurricanes, <laughs> That's fire. That's confused with the paniculus. Yeah, yeah, you got a paniculus <laughs> hanging over. Kind of an apron-like <laughs> thing. Okay. Like fatty tissue. Let's get, ooh, yeah. shit. Can Let's you lay get, off the microphone, Sam? Get a technician in here and fix the microphone. <laughs> Let's get serious. The star has touched the microphone. <laughs> 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 the vocal tone. Let's get so, serious. Sambo. Yes. Good thing we're not in Florida. <laughs> so I had a little trip to Idaho. Yeah. Did you tell? Uh, oh, about a week ago. So my kids. Yeah. Uh, smoky outside. Yes. Here I too. It was very inhibiting on my cannabis consumption to try to sit outside and breathe ash. Yes. And yes. forest fire smoke while I'm trying to get loaded. So I know so I noticed that yes. when I left here each day, because we live in a valley and we live far farther out and we have water around us, right. it wasn't as smoky. But the closer I got to the city, the it wasn't smokier smoke. it got. It was the, really smoky. The smokier it got and I had difficulty breathing actually. You think that they could like uh, control sure. the weather. Why don't they make rain to put up the fires? Well it rained here yesterday. I mean they've been able to make control the weather since like Vietnam. Well, it's so just how can you have dead. how can you have the devastation of Hurricane Harvey followed by Hurricane Irma, while there's forest fires in Washington and Oregon, um, and then oh let's add in a little tiny thing called an earthquake that might have a tsunami in Mexico. I mean, hey, one shit. thing to consider about the internet that people should know is that the only thing people want to talk about <laughs> is outrage. Yeah, do you I, know what I mean. I do. That's the, that's the only thing that interests people. That's how you get and, you people know, like, to like on Facebook. And things that are systematic and well-oiled are boring. Okay. Agreed. Agreed. Did you catch the uh, the Planned Parenthood lady saying that all life has value? <laughs> what an oxymoron, there. Okay. I didn't see it. So, you know, Sam, lately my blood has been boiling. Boiling, I tell you. Yes, it has. Yes, occasionally I get the blood boiling there. A I feel a issue. sense of frustration, Sam. As the sage that I am, I think that I feel these feelings ahead of the pack, Sam. I think okay. that I'm a contrarian already. Maybe a mystic. Nah, that's too spooky. I just think that I'm a Gen Xer. So I don't, bullshit don't fly with me. It's not that I'm super, like, intelligent. 
I just can spot bullshit pretty fast. I think you're both. I think you are. Well, you have a pretty sensitive bullshit meter, but this. you're also very. There's a movie out called Get Out. Okay. Okay. And it's about a black guy that gets lured into a rich white family with a hot white chick who lures him in and they hypnotize him and essentially they put his brain inside there. And it's it's essentially these rich people are abducting black men and putting their brains inside of them so that they could have their bodies and their youth and be young again. And I just and my kids were saying, "Oh, it's so great!" It's so that I, like, I don't want to watch it. <laughs> I don't even want to no, watch I it get that. because I think it's negrophilia. I go, is there any part in the movie where there's, there's a black guy bone and a white chick? And they're like, yeah. And I'm like, okay, okay. Is there any part of the movie where these rich white men want to put their brain inside a black man's body? I don't fucking buy that for one minute, Sam. <laughs> a rich white dude's going to choose a black guy? I don't think so. Sorry. But what that is... That's a tribe-made movie. And, of course, it was the number one movie of 2017, so that means Which that... Which I've never heard of it. Well, that means that the tribe promoted it. So this is a Javi Weinstein, Beinstein, Buckenstein, Goldstein production. You know what I mean, Sam? The tribe. I don't no. want to blame the tribe. I'm not going to say I that know the what you're... But it's the Jews! I know what you're talking you know about. I mean? But who said that it was the number one movie of 2017? I don't know, but the point is, is that that movie was pushed... So what they want the audience to see, they want to see uh, rich, liberal, New York fucking retards desiring a black man's body so that he can have sex with a white woman and we can all see it and shit. I'm tired of seeing the black... He's like, they're, they're worship. They're either stars, they're either bankers. You know, I'm tired of the black female banker. I mean, how many are there? I'm tired of the little teeny tiny teeny tiny representation of certain little aspects of identity politics. Having, you know, like I'll give you an example, Sam. Okay. In the MGTOW channels. Yeah. Every once in a while, they'll say, you'll see a little comment in MGTOW shit where it'll say stuff like, well, the reason why is because of your guys are white and blah, blah, blah. Man, I fire back immediately. It's not a racial issue. That's nothing to do with that. I'm so sick of black people injecting their race into the argument. But of course, my Scottish ancestors were white and didn't own black slaves who were half useless anyway they were like the retards of africa to even associate yourself with them is stupid but anyway as you know sam yes i am an island in my political beliefs and i've had to shed a few fleas sam that that's true that's yes. right sam you know, you got to examine your life, Sam, because clutter makes it impossible to fucking concentrate. And when you steal away all the time with the chores and your relationships and your hygiene and eating and all that other shit, you only got a couple of hours a day to be to yourself. So don't spend it with objects or even people that you don't get pleasure from or are not relevant or don't serve you in some way. Right? I Sure. So I got friends that I've had for 40 years, Sam! And they've turned out to be left liberal douchebags. And well, now, like, now I don't want to be friends with them anymore. Well, I just don't I, fucking care. And they start talking about Civil War nonsense, right? right? That goes back to the old Peter Pan silly days of the old fucking getting her guns out, cocking it on the air and all that. She got so tired of that. So I'm not really part of the whole Civil War gang. But anyway, Sam... May I say something? Go, oh, what? Um, well, as I said to you with one of your friends who you are no longer really hanging out with or talking with... Fuck him! Um, after 40 years, the things that brought you two together 40 years ago are not the same... You're not the same people. You have different political views. You have different socioeconomic classes. You live in different parts of the country. You've had different experiences with your families. There are lots of reasons... Why you may not be friends or not get along anymore. It's not just because one is a liberal douchebag. No, it is because one's a liberal douchebag. You know, I don't want to get into the AA meeting side of it. I'm just saying that these lefty <laughs> moron motherfuckers don't realize what kind of shit they're stirring up. These lefty BLM fucking entitlement morons keep talking about a civil war. What they don't understand is the Civil War will last about three months. It's going to become a roundup, Sam. I'm talking ditches, bulldozers, lie, multiple bodies. 
you know, at, as far as I'm concerned, Sam, yes. if this so-called civil war starts, these righties, these right dudes, they're not going to stop after the war is over. If you've expressed any kind of liberalism whatsoever, or if you're gay, or you wear glasses, who knows what's going to happen after that? They're just going to put you all in a big... They're not going to put you in a camp. They're just going to shoot you and kill you because they've already proven that you're pure poison. You a feminist? Camp. Right? Pure poison. You'll wind up in a grave. I'm not saying that. I'm not prescribing that. But that's what's going to happen. And now, this is, I don't even really want to do this. Like, I have no interest in this. But I want you to listen to this three okay. minute. And I was not able to download this. So we're just going to have the audio listen to this. And we'll get our reaction. Okay. And I'm going to talk a little bit about uh, the behavior, the, the things that some Trump supporters are saying in response to the recent news that uh, Special Counsel Mueller has uh, convened a grand jury and that signals that perhaps some kind of indictments or something is coming down the road. Now, um, certain Trump supporters, uh, especially those who are fans of Alex Jones and InfoWars, are actually saying that if, in fact, Trump is brought down by Mueller, if there's charges, if something happens where he's, he's removed from office because of the Russia investigation, that they're going to revolt, that they're going to launch a civil war. Well, guess what, fucking morons? It's not going to be a civil fucking war. What it's going to be is a small group of people who become domestic terrorists, and the United States government is going to quash that pretty easily, actually, because you're not organized. Uh, when the civil war happened in the United States, it was one group of states versus another group of states. It wasn't just a bunch of people randomly together on Facebook message boards uh, spouting bullshit who got mad and decided they were going to have a civil war. There were organized bodies already that were warring against other organized bodies. That's what a civil war is. Uh, you fucking idiot, inbred pieces of shit who think that you're going to somehow launch a civil war. I got news for you. You're going to fucking die if you try to do that shit. Or at the best possible scenario, you're going to get arrested and spend the rest of your lives in prison. Uh, the reason for this is because, first of all, Trump supporters, uh, the, the support that Donald Trump has is around 33% or so of Americans. Only a fraction of that 33% would actually put their lives on the line to go to war for this asshole. Because the thing is, it's not going to be the fucking deep state that takes Trump down. It's going to be the fact that Special Counsel Mueller found that he broke the fucking law. And he's going to use constitutional measures to take him down. So when you say you're going to revolt or you're going to use violence against the government, the deep state as you call them, for this, what you're basically saying is that you are going to piss all over the Constitution because you have uh, a hero worship complex for Daddy Trump. So, shut the fuck up. You're stupid. You're a bunch of fucking morons if you think that you're somehow going to launch a civil war uh, if, in fact, Donald Trump is taken down. Now, I don't know if there's going to be indictments against Trump. I don't know if he's going to be impeached or if he's going to be removed from office or forced to resign. I have no idea. Personally, I don't really care because I think the entire system is so fucking corrupt that even taking down Trump, uh, you know, all that's going to be is Pence. And even if you take down Pence, that just means that Paul Ryan's going to be president. So I don't see any of those as any better than having fucking big orange goon Cheeto Donnie as the, the, the president of the United States. So, you know, get your fucking heads on straight, assholes. You're not going to fucking launch a civil war if Trump is taken out of office. All that's going to happen is you're going to whine and complain on Facebook message boards and be a bunch of fucking idiots about the fact that you were stupid enough to elect a piece of shit con man. Oh, it's Robert. Well, there you go, Sam. There you have it. That's the opinion of the left. Those gentlemen will be the ones you'll be shooting at across the barrier. Well, Isn't that great? I Some white man? Fucking, that's what he thinks, man. I thought he was, I thought it was funny. He said, you're stupid. You're a moron. It's sort of like, oh, yeah, well, you're bald. I mean. Oh, and what a chicken <laughs> shit. Fucking coward. I'm so tired of cowards. You know, like Lionel Nation, that little fucking sweet motherfucker. You guys like Lionel Nation? You like him, right? He's so funny and shit. Have you ever heard the shit that he used to say on Air America? That little motherfucker is, where, is why we are where we are. He has inched us forward through Air America and a bullshit. Now he's on YouTube. Everybody's 
just all kissing his ass because he's funny and all this shit. Little do they know, he's like this little soft red. And like this motherfucker. He's a coward, see? He can't even support anybody. It's just all a big game. It's so much easier to just throw up your hands and give it up. I guarantee that guy's a race fixer. I guarantee that guy's got LGBT issues. Or some other bullshit stake in the game. He's getting checked by the government. I don't know what. But I hate fucking white power. So, anyway, I just wanted you to see that because... I didn't think that's where we were going with it. Ooh, what a piece no. of shit that guy is. I didn't think that's where we were going with this. I actually... Gets me riled up. Let me know where we're supposed to meet. <laughs> da, 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 da. I can't wait for Trump to call it out. See, what, he's, what this guy doesn't understand is the will of the people. This guy thinks that CNN polls are real. This guy watches TV. He watches TV like my moron friend Scott. He thinks shit that he sees on TV is real. And he also thinks that everyone's equal. <laughs> anyway, this has been a hate show from the Rocket Radio <laughs> Show. I'm sure they'll be pulling us off the air for this one, Sam. You know what's so funny about all the bitching about the YouTube <laughs> censorship and the throttling and all that? Right, what? It fucking happened to us for like eight years. Yeah, right? no, we're no so problem. ahead of the game, you know? It's not my fault. Oh, no, yeah, we, we were being throttled when throttling wasn't cool. <laughs> yeah, yeah, we've been being throttled since throttling wasn't even invented yet, Sam. <laughs> it was an experience, I gotta tell you. Yeah, it's a Gen X channel. You know, when people say we got less than a thousand subs, Sam, shit, girl. We got less than a hundred people watching. <laughs> we are a small, tiny, select ooh, club. Ooh. Not everyone's welcome. You know what I mean, Sam? And I'm fine with that. <sighs> Meanwhile, they don't support our president and little shits like this. I don't care what he says. At this point, even if Trump gets impeached, they never gave him a chance. These guys like this guy right here. He went against the will of the people, and I think it's way more than 33%, and I think the military and the police would be behind the people who were objecting to Trump being removed. Well, he talks because about show me the man, I'll show you the crime. They are just grinding Trump's balls daily, trying to find some bullshit. He hasn't even selected his cabinet yet, because he's just, I don't care. It's guys like this. Not by my hand. So fuck you guys. I'm not prescribing shit. I'm just saying. Assholes like this here, he's going to be married, buried in a mass grave. No one will know who he was. Archaeologists later will dig him up and just label him as lefty. Archaeologists. I can't believe I can't. Unless he's a fucking fossil. Sorry, what? Nothing. Anyway, I think the lie will actually do <laughs> You know what? You know what's so weird <laughs> what? about hate speech and shit? <laughs> if Adolf Hitler had won the war... We would have a fucking space station on Pluto by now. You know what I mean? <laughs> Bunch of white people, of course, but we would have a fucking space station on Saturn by now with flying cars, Sam. <laughs> flying Nazi cars, but it would have been flying cars nonetheless. That's why you put in the Jetson sound. And, you know, Detroit would have been humming. You know what I'm thinking, though? Maybe, maybe, Sam. Maybe those Nazi bastards escaped to Antarctica and have been living in a parallel universe where it's warm and have been making terrible weapons of war waiting to relaunch the Fifth Reich. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, you've been listening to the Rocket Radio <laughs> Show broadcast. Thanks for tuning in. Thanks for being here, Sam. Anytime, Rocket. Stop pushing that Nazi Antarctica conspiracy theory. <laughs> It's just, and you know that Charlottesville with car ran over, yeah. fake as shit, I, man. I would actually still like to see that coverage. Fake as shit. See you later, folks. Say goodnight, Samantha Stanley. Goodnight, Sam. 19 minutes, of course. I'm actually worried that my microphone is on the Субтитры